What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steyer, back again with another video on the channel. We're taking a look at footies day number three. It's a little bit past 1 p.m. now, Eastern time, and we're gonna be logging on, seeing what they got. Ooh, you already see they have a footies winner Lozano card. No surprise there. I told you guys he was gonna win the other day, and sure enough, he has that winner's card. 99 pace. Can't wait to see how the stats now because the thing disappeared. But there also are some new weekly objectives as well. So let's take a look at what we have in the weeklies. Ooh, so we got some new cards in here to unlock. So we got a Footies Comad assist using French players in nine separate rivals wins. That's a lot of gains, especially for someone at a higher division, because getting those wins, man, if you're in like D1, D2, you guys know wins are not easy to come by there. But that's a pretty good looking card, though. I'm interested in seeing his in game stats. We got Footies Danila Pereira. This is an interesting card. I was waiting for him to get an inform or some kind of special card this year. All he has is his blue Champions League card, but this guy is one of the better CDMs in Liga Nos. He gets the link to guys like Eder Militao and Teles because he plays on the same team and stuff. That's a very good looking card as well. This challenge is only for a kid. Nobody really cares about that, but it's score five goals and finesse shots this week. That should be a very easy challenge to complete. Nobody should be struggling with that one at all. Moving on, we got swap deals player. Now this is important because you guys want to be trying to get as many of these as you possibly can this month. You got a mid icon pack available for 10 foot swap players. You got Davis and Sanchez, Marcus Rashford, a lot of good cards in there, Quincy Promise. So definitely try to complete these challenges if you can. This one you got assist using Brazilian players in five separate rivals matches. Not going to be a difficult one there. You don't have to get the win, so you can get the loss or even the draw and still still count towards your progress for that one. A lot easier than the Coman challenge. This one you gotta win four squad battles, matches using a squad with a max rating of 82 on world class difficulty. Ew. That might be a tough one. I do struggle against world class uh, CPU sometimes. I think the trick for this one is to use a bronze bench. Maybe get like an 85, 86 kind of rated squad and then bronze bench with the lowest possible rated bronze players you can and I'll knock it down to 82 to make it compatible for this challenge. We got Swap Deals Players 3. This one you have to assist 15 goals using Air Divisi players in squad battles. Unfortunately, I sacrificed my David Neres Team of the Season card, but I think I might complete that Lozano card to make this one a little bit easier. He should be a, a pretty good option for that kind of thing. And then this one is all out defense. Oh my goodness, not this again. So this is like the one we had last week where you had to win three matches with all goalkeepers. Now you have to win three with all defenders, man. That's gonna be crazy. I think the trick for this one, man, it's gonna be using fullbacks. They're their most versatile players. You wanna use guys like Marcelo, guys like Jao Cancelo have the versatility to kind of play offense and defense. You don't wanna be stuck with a lot of big center backs and Koulibaly, stuff like that. Those guys aren't gonna be ideal for this challenge except for the position of center back, but a striker and stuff like that, I might be using like Van Dyke up there, man. He cross up to Van Dyke. Nobody's gonna beat that guy in the air. So let's take a look at what else we have here. Let's take a look at the SBC tab for the day. I'm interested in seeing the requirement for that Lozano car. I hope he's not too expensive because I really do want to complete that one. I also have a swap deals player here to do as well. Looks like I got about two days to do it. Not too difficult. 11 rare players, gold players, needs a couple English guys in there. So that's not too bad. Anybody should be able to complete that one. We finally had the marquee matchups too, which is pretty cool. That was not available at 1 p.m. yesterday when I recorded my video. So it's interesting they kind of added that in later. I was kind of worried they might not do it at all, but it looks like they came through for us and we got marquee matches to complete. Took a look at those later. But here is the footies winner, Irving Lozano. Let's take a look at this thing right quick. 5 9, high, medium, 4 star, 4 star. We like that. And these stats, man, these look absolutely incredible for a winger. He got pretty much maxed out pace, only 98 sprint speed, quote unquote only. Uh, shooting looks really, really good. 93 finishing on him, 90 long shots, 92 shot power. Dribbling is off the charts, man. He's got 99 agility and stuff. This guy has a little bit of everything, man. He's gonna be very, very agile, very quick on the ball. And this guy can be used as a super sub, as a starter. He can do pretty much anything, man. So this guy's gonna be very, very good in the weekend league and stuff like that. Well, let's take a look at this guy's requirements though. Hopefully he's not too expensive. Let's see, we got a Mexico. They need two Mexican players, one team of the week or team of the season card. 83 team, that's easy. We can do that one, no problem. I think we that need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Well, this is an 84, that's it? 83 and 84 squad? Bruh, this is easy. One every to busy player, 84 rated squad. That's, oh, that's no problem at all. We're definitely gonna complete this card. I'm gonna have a review on this card up, hopefully sometime in the next week or so. I know we got essentially seven days to complete this guy, or I guess six days now, because it's a little bit under seven, so. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely review this card on the channel. I forgot, I still have to review Carlos Vela. I have not gotten around doing that one yet. 
very good car, but we're going to put the review for that one on the channel, hopefully within the next week or so. I'm going to be out of town this weekend, so it might be a little bit difficult to get that out sooner, but we will definitely be doing that in the near future. I want to take a look at the marquee matchups really quick. It's the last thing I'm going to do for the video. We got LA Galaxy, Toronto. These don't look too difficult so far. You need three MLS players for this one, but thankfully MLS has a lot of cheap gold cards in that league, so that should not be that difficult. This one you need three of the, this is the Swedish league, I believe, so that might be a little tricky because they have like mostly bronzes and silvers in there. This one, Nigeria or Cameroon players. I think pretty much everyone has at least four Nigerian slash Cameroon players. This one could be a bit of an issue. This is once again, you need to have two Irish league players and my club is completely bone dry of Irish league guys, so I'm about to go hit the bronze pack. And if you guys have not seen my updated bronze pack method video, make sure you guys check that one out. Because I'm telling you guys, man, the bronze pack is where it's at. For these kind of marquee matches, these kind of SBCs, you want to be hitting the bronze pack to try to get these kind of players. I mean, you don't want to be spending like 4,000 coins from the market. You're much better off opening bronze packs where you got the chance to get squad fitness cards and all kinds of rare stuff in there. So that's going to be for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Join the Fire Nation. I'm trying to build a community here, guys, where we put out all kinds of great content. We come together and discuss all things related to FIFA Ultimate Team. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I will see you next time.